Uh, weapon, weapon, up, 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 up. Anything you want to say? Open the door, come on. I, I want to ask about the weapon. Or the tool, whatever. Die, die, okay, no. <laughs> I should, you should have probably kept that one to yourself. What do you want to say about this weapon? Die, die, die. Edward Hill, this is not you at all. Yo, all right, everybody, welcome back to Who is Zombie? Big old day 12, third time around as well. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying it thus far. If you are, keep letting me know and I'll continue going to at least we get our one of our endings at the very least. Remember, there's nine different endings in the game, so I'm at least hoping if you guys are enjoying enough to at least cover one of them, depending on the choices we've made thus far. And in case you've missed any episodes so far, up right corner of the screen, click that, check them out. Come on back. Today, though, we got um people from Lavoska out. There's been a very large scale zombie outbreak in Lavoska. Oska people now in and check this out. The purple people. Which everybody was so happy about pointing out to me. Um, Falcon, it's fine. You were wrong because, um, even though the thing said don't let them in from Oska, they were purple, so purple's fine. Uh, you were wrong. Yeah, well, fine, I'll take that one. But now look at this. Your purple people are turning into green. So in reality, Falcon was right from the start because I was taking a preemptive approach. Preemptive approach. Either way, oh, oh, well, you got the goofy eyes, though. Um, come on in, partner, David Miller. Ha, <laughs> almost tricked me. Okay, um, explain the tool. We need to build barricades. You're right about that. You're from Lufthoven? Lufthoven is fine. It's Lavoska, which we're worried about. Oh, you're green. Get out of here. You're full green. Thomas Clark, that's not even you, Doug. It's not even you. That It's not even that you've lost weight. It's like you've changed genders, too. Brian Moore is Aventon. Okay, it seems to be fine. I should have asked him. I should ask him. I should be asking. Um, have you anything to eat? <laughs> I think uh, she's she's had plenty. Uh, you're thirsty? No, I, I want to ask about the I want to ask about the weapon. The weapon. I won't say anything. Get out of here then. Oh no 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 no! Get out of here. Okay, one more, one more is all we need. De Lavoska, sorry buddy, you're from Lavoska. Can't say yes to Lavoska. Sandra Walker. Your photo seems off a bit. No, she looks fine. How'd you get here? Came here by car. <laughs> really? Everybody's usually is walking everywhere. Mary Scott Veronia. That's oh come on, I was gonna click. Actually, I was gonna click the wrong one. You know what? <laughs> Knock off Leon Kennedy, you saved me. I was about to click the wrong one because I had a brain fart. Have you what have you broken today, Alan? Hayden. What? <laughs> it's not even for some reason this guy was able to utter this word without making it sound question, you know, like a question, you know? Like whenever, whenever everybody says what, it's like, you know, you're asking a question. Somehow he managed to make this not a question. You look tired, <laughs> and you're always laughing, weirdo. Yeah, well, thanks to Lawrence, who was keeping an eye on us the entire day. I've just come in after repairing the door. Oh, good. Means I finally have time now. Now you can press the button and it will open, just like before. Phew. I didn't mean it, sorry. Oh, so it's fixed now, finally. Well, there's been some trial and error, but next time it will be upgraded flawlessly. Again? Well, hopefully you don't break it this time and you can just give me extra time. That would be nice. Let's go to date 13, unlucky 13. What does unlucky 13 have in store for us? Let's find out. Yeah, so we have like the full bar now and the extra little capsule. Good. Oh, finally it stopped. What, the rain? Yeah, I really hope it won't rain again. Oh, that's... Alan said the government was working on an auxiliary battery. It's already here. I can give this to Alan tonight, right? Hmm. So we're going to get a second one, huh? All right. So let's see here. September 24, 2033. Government links uh, recent terrorist attacks in Lufthoven to the newly formed religious organization Neocosmos. I think we have, um, I feel like we've met Neocosmos now. It's that girl who showed up being like, um, I think, um, this is all happening for a reason because God wants us all to die and we should accept it. I'm pretty sure that was, uh, Neo Cosmos. Meanwhile, the government plans to provide all citizens shelters with auxiliary batteries to power the doors at their screening facilities. That is true. We apparently already got the little micro SD card for it. So, nothing new today. Just everything we've been following thus far? Good. Okay, Donald Jackson from Lufthoven. In you go, man. You got some creepy ass. You're the biggest boy I've seen. Oh, you got a gun there, too. I must protect my family. Okay, go ahead, Vin Diesel. In you go. 
Partial green, you gotta get out of here, Karen. She's also Karen as well. You gotta get out of here, Green Fist. Don't punch my door in. What's the tool for? Aronia, uh, explain the purpose of the tool. All this, I used to work with it. I'm a carpenter. Oh, that sounds very good, actually. We could use a couple of those inside of here. Kenneth Ford looking relatively angry. He's got an injury, though. I'm sorry, my friend. You have been bitten, Sandra Walker. All that, all that junk in the trunk, Sandra Walker, inside you go. What's the tool for? Fight against injustice, we'll tear this government down. I don't think uh, that's uh, a good use of that. Lavoska, I'm sorry, little guy. Lavoska's on my do not enter list. What do you use this weapon for? I won't say anything. Okay, well, you know, you just incriminated yourself by not telling me a thing. Um, In you go, because you got the googly eyes. Jennifer Clark Lufthoven, I think everything is fine. In you go. Oh, no, no, you, you must leave. Um, no, 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 because it's the mixture of purple and green. No, I could have let this guy in. I could have gotten 15. Alan, I got myself a card. Would you mind upgrading me? Oh, so this is the battery developed by the government. <laughs> Not really a battery. It seemed like more of a micro little SD card, but sure. Although, although, you know what it could be? The, maybe the plans or the blueprint for it are in the card and he's gonna pop that into a computer. He'll see how to develop it himself and he makes it. Okay, that could be it too. Sure, we'll go with that one. I didn't think they would start supplying them so soon. Well, it looks nice. <laughs> this guy with his hair hey all the time. Can you install by morning? Just leave it to me. <laughs> I did that last one because at this point now, I can't. I, I, at this point now, I'm gonna give him my hey <laughs> hey after every single sentence, alright? I've just committed to it at this point. Aiden, did anything happen while I was gone? Well, we had this weird nutso show up about, um, you know, allowing the end of the world to happen. Oh, I forgot to give you an update, but nothing serious happened, but... But what? Have you seen today's newspaper? About the terrorist attack launched by the followers of some cult? Yeah, she was here, Belle! While you were away, some of them came by. They were dressed in weird red clothes. It felt a little threatening. Hmm. We'd better be careful. I will discuss this with Brian. We'll see how well we can tighten security. Thank you. See, I wasn't even aware like that's the comp that's where the conversation was to go. But it did. And I'm glad. Because it makes sense, you know? Because we had that weird incident, so it would make sense that you'd explain it to your security people about it. So good, um, good progression there with the story. Day 14. Oh, oh, it's the homeless guy. <laughs> I love this guy because look at his face. Like, he looks like he belongs to one of those, like, you know, cheap, like, you know, app mobile games, you know, where all you do is choose yes or no or something and something random happens. That's where he looks like where he belongs, you know? Oh, it's you. Yep. Uh, survival isn't getting easy at these, these days, you know? Well, it's uh, tough for us here, too. Uh huh. No need to be so cold hearted. So, will you give me a little something today? You're right, let's... You're right, let's think that this is the last time, let's just share. No! I mean, what exactly is it that I'm giving him again? I already forgot. Okay, I mean, like, if we had, like, a, I, don't, I forgot what I gave him last time. Like, I, am I just supposed to pretend like I gave him something and... Some imaginary number? Okay, sure, whatever. Okay, take this, but please don't come back again, really. Don't come back again? Harsh. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Anyway, thank you. And I'll see you soon. I just know... When I say don't come back again, I don't mean to see you again, ever. So you can't say I'll see you soon. It's like, uh, I'll never see you. That's how you should be... Leaving. With. I gotta tell him not to come back before he says that he'll see me again. I mean, you just told him before that he didn't care. You gotta assert your dominance. You gotta, like, you know, put a bullet in him or something. <laughs> so he's kind of, you know, a little bit too harsh, Falcon. Well, you know, he doesn't want to... I'm, I'm not even sure why I don't want him to come around. He's just... He seems harmless enough. Uh-oh. Warning. Neo-Cosmos. Individuals referring to religion, God, or prayers in their answers. Out. Wow. So now we kind of have to, no matter what, drill people a little bit. Santiago is up out. Why? Large-scale zombie outbreak in Santiago. Witnesses report seeing a suspect wearing a red hood. 
Given similar reports from previous outbreaks, the government is investigating possible links to the newly found religious group Neocosmos. You got a gun there? Explain it. Ah, <laughs> well, you're out of here immediately. Where'd you live? I'm from the wonderful town of Veronia. Isn't the weather nice? Okay, everything seems fine. You're purple. It's fine. Ooh, oh my god, dude, your neck. <laughs> How are you even alive? Uh, you're the mix, so no, sorry, the mix cannot come in. Sandra Walker, how did you get here? Anything you want to say? Open the door, come on. Okay. Okay, I guess. I'm dying of hunger, okay, no, okay, that's, that's nothing to do, okay, and, and you go. I'm curious if you can target the kids or not. Uh, what's the weapon for? We need to build barricades. Uh, okay, I, I guess he would have said something about the religious stuff in that line. Oh, out of here you go, Mark Bell. Uh, googly eyes. Come on in, uh, mixture. Mixture is no good. Two more. Anthony Hill. Anything you'd like to say? Can I have some water? I'm so thirsty. He's from Oska, which has been lifted. I'm from Oska, okay. I guess it's fine. Okay, everything's fine. Uh, weapon, weapon, up, 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 up. Anything you want to say? Open the door, come on. I, I want to ask about the weapon. Or the tool, whatever. Die, die, okay, no. <laughs> I should, you should have probably kept that one to yourself. What do you want to say about this weapon? Die, die, die. Edward Hill, this is not you at all. <laughs> no, it's not. Get out of here. You liar. Matthew Jackson, anything you want to say? A somewhat shabby looking shelter. I mean, I could just not let you in. How about that? How about that? Not let you win. Sorry, Robert Johnson. I mean, this guy over here, maybe had I not, you know, stopped to give him a snide remark for him, bad mouthing my shelter, probably would have gotten to you as well. Maybe you come back tomorrow, though, okay? Just hang around in a building, you know, come back tomorrow. Everything should be fine. Aiden. Now, every time you call me like that, I freak out thinking that something bad has happened. What did you do this time? <laughs> I mean,. <laughs> a problem occurred during the experiment involving skin tissues infected with the new strain. Innocent. <laughs> Again? What happened? Uh, the research you had to take the regent extracted from the skin to another lab. <laughs> Collided with some kid while walking. <laughs> so what? <laughs> Coll collided with some kid and we're not even concerned. Is the kid alright? Yeah, so what? So, <laughs> the child got soaked in that regent. Must have been funny. <laughs> See, that's where you should actually be laughing. Alan? Huh? <laughs> Something funny about that. It's even more important than the shelter itself. It's more important than the shelter itself. A few hours later, they checked and found signs of greenish necros. <laughs> so they prescribed him the newly developed vaccine and the case was closed. <laughs> Was there a problem? It's nice to work hard on your own, but please don't underestimate the situation. Had the child shown symptoms of an incurable virus, this place would have become hell. You understand what I'm saying? Ah, I see. Enough. No need to get emotional over this. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> see. Anyway, luckily this time the issue has been solved, so I won't complain anymore. But next time, please, be more careful. Huh. <laughs> Bell, what do you got to say? Why are you so serious? Well, I mean, like, um, this guy, this Alan guy, I'm not sure how I feel about this guy. Laughing all the time about really serious issues, Bell? It's about Santiago. No, not that. I can read that on your face. Everybody's always laughing in this game. Oh, really? Does that not worry you? I mean, we have more and more things to worry about. Okay. Well, have you just thought about the fact that it's a post-apocalypse scenario? Bell, maybe I've lost my smile. How about that? People are dying constantly. Brian, when's it all gonna be over? Nobody knows the answer to that. Until that day comes, the best thing we can do is focus on the task at hand. Well, let's think of a name for our shelter. Who knows? Maybe someday we'll become one of the best facilities out there. 
The only problem is that I'm not that great at inventing names. Oh, well, we we might get an idea from our cultist here. Something is troubling you. I can see it on your face. Oh? Uh? You. My name is Rebecca. I'm the leader of Neocosmos, the people who dream of the new world. Yeah, I could have guessed by your attire. Well, did you have enough time to think about it? To think about what? What ridiculous nut jobs you are? No need to overreact. No, it's a, it's a, it's not an overreaction. I think it's a very fair, level-headed reaction, as a matter of fact. I say it's grounded in reality. You know what's reality? Not wanting people to die just because you think uh, this zombie scourge is, you know, a wrath of God and, you know, welcoming the new age. That, now that's kind of weird, Rebecca, is all I'm going to say. Every one of us has gone through our own personal hell. Many of us got exiled because they suspected we were sick. Nobody would help us. Everyone would turn us away. Who could possibly survive under such circumstances? You are the supervisor here, aren't you? Well, I am, but... Each time you turn away the infected, what happens to them after that? Have you ever thought about it? Not even once, have you? In your eyes, they are no better than annoying weeds that keep growing on your lawn. Am I wrong? Dad. The very least, I don't think that way. No, it's not true. Soon, you will find out that you yourself are the same. I will visit you again. This is your last chance to seek forgiveness from those whom you have left to die. September 26, 2033, government is dispatching professional investigators nationwide to collect information on the Neocosmos. Mm. So we might see some government's people here soon. Nothing new today? All right. All right, Mary Scott, you got the perp. So I think you're fine. I should have uh, asked. Oh, no, no. Get, get out of here. Big hands. Jennifer Cluck, Luft Hoven. Anything you want to say? May your soul... Nope. No, no, no salvation here. Although, theoretically speaking, when you think about it, may your soul find salvation? I mean, it's it's kind of a weird thing to say, sure, but it's not like necessarily like, you know, if somebody said that to me, I'm going to believe, oh, they're, they're a cultist, you know what I'm saying? Maybe she's overly religious. Donald Harris, um, everything seems fine. Veronia. I want to ask anything, but I couldn't. Oh, oh. it looks like your, your virus looks like a bit of like a headset. Googly eyes says, come on in. That's good. Um, you got the mixture. You got to go. Margaret Santiago. I'm sorry, little girl. Santiago is no good. Wait, it's supposed to be Santiago and what? Levoska, Levoska. Okay. Um, tool. Hey, um, no, no. I want to ask about the tool. We need to tighten security. She's from Oska. It's all good. Nancy Green Santiago. Sorry. Can't. Can't do it. Los Leones. Anything you want to say? I, I want to see anything you would like to say. On my way here, I saw a cute puppy. Oh. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Hey, um, what's up with that gun, dog? I need to defend myself. He's from Aventon. All right. Come on in, Mustachio, man. Thomas, have you eaten? Yeah, he's done quite a bit of that. Uh, Tool, I won't say anything. Well, then you can't come in. Don't say nothing. Step on out, Levoska. Uh, Levoska's bad, right? Yes. Levoska and Santiago. Having two of them right now is just kind of apparently throwing my brain into like a tizzy. I don't think that's you. Like, even remote. Oh, come on. I couldn't just click in. Oh, yeah, I should have, you know what? I should have clicked no and then got into my little condescending spiel about her not being that picture. I know better. I know better. Either way. We still got four over the ejected, so it's fine. We're doing just fine. Brian, what's up, dude? What you got? Aiden, why are you so depressed? Why does everybody keep asking me that? You know what? I think I'm the only logical knockoff Leon Cannon. He's the only logical person here thus far. Alan always. <laughs> Bell always giggling as well. You're kind of alright, and now suddenly you're like, why are you so depressed? 
Gotta make hard decisions here, Brian. I'm the leader of the shelter. I got this weird Cosmo cultist nut running around trying to put ideas in my head. Uh, to be honest, until today I haven't felt any remorse for the screenings I conducted. But, mm, you see what I'm saying? Colt is putting ideas in my head? What did she tell you? Were you listening? We all tried to follow her to gather some information, but she disappeared in a flash. Brian, am I doing a good job? Aiden, just follow your own principles. I will repeat this one more time. In the end, you're the one that makes decisions. Okay, let's see. Very short, very concise, but very true. I am the one who makes decisions. Very deep. It's a Brian character. Oh, I didn't get enough sleep last night. Pretty tired. Aiden. Hey, good morning, Brian. What's uh, in that bag? Haven't you read the newspaper? The government's requested all medics to report for training. Something about the new vaccine? I'll know more once I get there. Oh, really? Don't worry. I'll be back in three days. Both you and Bell can administer basic first aid. Alan will take care of the rest. I've shown him everything. So Brian's like uh, the doctor guy? <laughs> I thought he was like the head of security. So I guess that's Bell then. Bell's the head of security. I mean, this guy, he just looks like, you know, he kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Barry from Resident Evil as well. Much like this guy over here reminds me of Leon Kennedy. Okay, then. I don't know if it was someone else, but you, Brian, have nothing to worry about. Be careful. See you in three days. Yeah, like, he reminds me of Barry, and then Belle reminds me of, um, oh, man, I'm blanking on her name. She's in Resident Evil Zero, though. Either way, we got September 27, 2033. Government researchers warned that rice and corn from Lavolska supplied nationwide has been contaminated with a deadly zombie virus following the recent zombie outbreak in the area. Oh, gee, I wonder who, um, who could have done that one. Food. Individuals have consumed rice or corn out. Wow. So on top of everything we've been doing thus far now, we also gotta not just ask if they have anything to say, but also, um, have you had any food recently? Rice or corn out. Okay. Big hands, at least I don't gotta ask you a thing. So there is that. Googly eyes, come on in. Okay, Michelle Morgan. Um, anything you want to say? You saw a cute puppy? I want to ask about food. Okay, I can't ask about food, so I guess uh, in you go. Mark Anderson, uh, where have you been recently? Veronia, anything you want to say? A somewhat shabby looking show, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you eaten? I've had some steamed corn, nope! Can I come in? Um, you got the combinations to note for you. What about that gun, dog? Die? Nope. No. Not not today, my friend. Um, no. Sorry, Melissa Patterson. Your greens are all your legs are all green. Sandra Walker. Anything you want to say? I saw a child crying. Did she get lost? I I, I just want to ask if you had something to eat. Is she I, I guess you know what she's purple, so it's fine, right? Yes. Oh, whatever. I guess if they're perp, they're somehow immune to being asked anything, perhaps. Anything to eat? I had some cornbread. Okay, it's corn, it's corn, right? It's corn. Oh my god, what happened to your face? Why are you so angry? Have you had anything to eat? Pork is so delicious. Uh, anything you like to say? Saw a child crying. She's from Oska. Oska's fine now. Uh, Jessica Harris, right? What's uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anything you want to say? What do zombies eat? I guess you're fine. Okay. Edward White. Oh, oh, the neck. Oh, I think that might be our first convict. Sarah Morgan, uh, she's all green, right? Uh, where did you... How'd you get... Uh, I couldn't just let them in because I needed to get, at least get, like, you know, anything you want to say or what did you read. But I needed to proc those questions first. None of them were there. Um, that was the first guy with the red neck. I, that's the one thing I've always forgotten about because I'm pretty sure up to right now today, we haven't seen a single one in red with the red, you know, convict neck thing. All right, Belle. I still don't know. I'm, I'm trying to remember the girl's name. It's not Claire. It's obviously not Jill. It's Rebecca. It's Rebecca. 
It's Rebecca, yes. <laughs> uh, oh, so now I'm asking her why she's so serious. Look at this guy. Hey, Bell, what's the matter? Why are you so serious? Aiden, if I... If I get infected and come to your screening, what are you going to do? Why, why, why must you ask me this? Have you been talking to this Neo Cosmos girl? What? What are you talking about? Answer me. I mean, Belle, that's, uh... It's a very slippery slope type of question, Belle. I know, you're, you're my dog and everything, but... I like to imagine, Belle, that we know what we have to do to save the majority, right? What's better for the majority as opposed to the minority here would be me or you. Like, if I was getting infected, I'd probably say, you know what? You gotta kick me out. So if I'm gonna go under that notion for myself, Bell, I have to imagine that you also must have to live by that notion. Right? So... I have no choice. You take it too hard? I just don't get infected, dog. <laughs> it's very simple. It's a good answer. Please don't lose that. Yeah! Good. She was testing my, my, my integrity. Good. I'm glad we're on the same page, Bell, unless you just said that to, you know, make me feel good or... You hide the fact that you're very a angry now about stuff. You're the guy from Strength Shelter, right? I forget what voice I gave you, so whatever. I'm gonna give you a generic voice. Hello, Eden. That's generic, yeah, whatever. Yeah, just give him a voice. Hello. Why do you look so tired? Eh, tomorrow's gonna be... Tomorrow, it's gonna rain again. Doesn't rain bother you there, guys? Well, we do make our preparations, but I see. You do the same here. <laughs> I see. So, what can I do for you today? I'm here to get some intel on the Neocosmos cult these guys are getting out of hand. Please tell me everything you know about them. The information isn't confirmed yet. They're hiding something. Even if it seems inconsequential, we need any information we can get. I mean, I agree with this. I, I mean, I don't necessarily know if I disagree with anything of this. Like, I guess we don't have, like, solid proof, but they are definitely hiding something, right? And also, even if it seems inconsequential, we've got to follow any lead to, you know, possibly see what they're up to. I guess I'll go with the first one. Edward saying, let me think. I don't really have any solid intel, and... I think you're just trying to earn points from the government. What are you talking about? What? No, it's nothing like that. I see. I'll see you again later. What? What is he talking about? <laughs> no, dog. I, I believe they're a menace. I just... I don't have any, like... They haven't, like, you know, she's come over here and, you know, told me, Oh, you know, we should let things happen. And, you know, uh, here's... Uh, how do you feel about throwing the out the... I get all that, but we don't have any solid, like, legitimate concrete details just yet. But I'll continue digging. <laughs> Why did it seem like I made the wrong choice? Right, either way, we're out of time, so I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Um, again, it's, keep letting me know if you're enjoying it. We'll definitely continue going forward and um, march towards one of the endings. So far, we've made some choices, obviously, that can affect that ending. Good, bad, who knows? We'll see. I'll catch you next time.